Good evening guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm heading to the Narrows, which is the body of water in between Dartmouth and Halifax, in between the McKay and McDonald bridges. It's a beautiful evening. It's quite warm here in Halifax. I think it reached 21 degrees Celsius today. Uh, the tide is very low right now which is uh, good for me, as I don't scuba. And uh, yeah, this is always one of my favorite places. I've, you, I've been here many times before. And uh, yeah, looking forward to getting in for a swim. Um, yeah, cleaning up some trash from the ocean and maybe find some cool stuff while we're at it. All right. I hope you guys enjoy today's video. So usually I kind of go over there, but today I'm gonna start on this side. I don't think I've actually been here at this spot with the tide this low. Usually I'm here just before or just after, and I'm really excited. Like there's even rocks sticking out over there which I've never even been here when those rocks have been out of the water. So uh, that's really cool. Yeah, I have a good feeling. I have a good feeling about today.
you guys what I got here. Dad's a little quick, so I'm gonna take the flippers off and run to that other side. So I got a gear stubby, so kind of danger sign, uh, an Oxford Dairy milk bottle. The back is cracked, but I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, A slick kind of old 19th century pop bottle. Some more modern one there. This one has embossed writing on it. Saying Hendrickson. Heineken. London Gat Glasgow. It's too bad it's broken. But it is embossed. Uh, this would have been nice as a Felix J. Quinn purple. Uh, pop bottle there. We've got another whiskey or rum bottle. Just a broken beer bottle. Uh, modern day beer bottle there. Uh, I think that's an old champagne bottle. Uh, J. Gilfoy gin. A frosty root beer. I think this one was a boss. Yeah, acid line, Femi of Canada. It's a screw top, but yeah, pretty cool. So I'm gonna leave that there. Gonna hop in on the other side, see what there is. I just wonder how much is buried in the mud here.
All right, as you can see, it's just a beautiful sunset here tonight in Halifax. I'm gonna start over here with the first uh, amount of stuff that I found. Um, this says Femi of Canada acid line, ha handle carefully, there's a screw top. Got a beer bottle there, an H.A. Guilfoy. Looks like an old uh, champagne bottle or frosty. An Oxford Dairy milk bottle. The back is is broken out, but still intact in the front, so I'm gonna hold on to that. We've got a danger confined case sign here. Uh, this would have been a really nice find here, this Felix J. Quinn. Uh, too bad it's broken, but uh, we've got uh, beer stubby, another aqua green bottle. This one is uh, pretty cool, even though it's broken. Uh, Henneke & Co, London, Glasgow, established over 200 years. Um, just a really interesting bottle. I'm bummed that it's broken. Um, I may hold on to it still. And then part two over here and uh, I'll just kind of take stuff out of the bag and show you guys as I go along. And then I'm gonna do a kind of a final shot when I set everything up. I'm gonna use that log over there to do my kind of final shot there. But uh, yeah, let's see what we got in here. So we've got this, uh, looks like maybe a wine bottle or a, another champagne. I'm sure I thought it was aqua in color, but it might be clear. Um, I'll clean that up. We've got a food preservative jar here. Uh, this was a big guy. Uh, there is some stuff written on him on the bottom lamb's rum um nothing embossed there um i took this out just because it was broken it's good to take as much as you can uh, some plastic and uh i don't know what this was i thought maybe a roll of duct tape actually that is what it is that's a roll of duct tape um what else got another pop bottle or a beer bottle here um, let's see this one uh, it's just like a beer bottle uh, what's this sprite probably or maybe another beer there's so many I can't tell um, I thought this one was interesting and just maybe like a sauce bottle just based on its top here there's nothing else written on it um, okay what else what else do we got in here? Oh yeah, that looks like a kind of a flashlight or a light of some type. Looks like it's seen better days. Oh yeah, this creepy uh, doll head. That goes out to my friend Dirtfish Mish. <laughs> I know you love it when I find those in my, uh, yeah, nasty. We've got a little tiny Sprite bottle here. Um, this, uh, I think, I don't know, I have a feeling that these were like peanut butter jars, or they could have been used for maybe anything. Um, what else here? Just a piece of metal. Um, oh yeah. Now this is really, really cool. It is a very short stubby bottle at first i saw it from afar and i was like oh it's a torpedo because i saw it kind of like this and then of course it has this this bottom but there is something written on it there i'm not sure exactly what it says but just a cool little bottle um i found some of these before they're like kind of pickle olive preservative jars from 1930s a rubber ring Classic Pepsi. Uh, just an unmarked bottle there. Another rubber ring. Some more plastic. Um, what's this? Beer stubby. Medicine bottle. All the time I'm just grabbing stuff. Oh yeah, that one was broken. Took it out. 
There's a Sussex ginger ale. You can tell by the design of that one. Um, someone's card. Yeah, I don't know what that's for. Residential hauler. Um, another bottle. And what else? Thanks for sticking with me, guys. Got a tiny little medicine there. Um, be careful, I don't cut myself. Um, I took that just because it has some writing on it, even though it's broken, it's a screw top, just a mason jar. Ketchup bottle, then another kind of beer bottle there. And what's this? Yeah, one more ketchup. I think that's it. That's it. So, yeah, you can see as well, just, you know, when I got here, those, there were rocks that were just kind of sitting out there. They're completely covered. Just kind of shows how fast the tide can rise here. And, uh, yeah, so it was a, so one of my bigger hauls, uh, from my last couple times. So that was, uh, that feels good to do. And, uh, I'm going to set all these up now, kind of clean them out and show you the final shot here. All right. So after 15 minutes of cleaning, Here's all the bottles and junk kind of all put together. Uh, this is a shame. This would have been a really cool bottle to have found in, intact. Uh, Henneke and Co. London and Glasgow. Uh, it's got an aqua color to it. Still uh, would have been neat. And that Felix J. Quinn, that's a bit of a heartbreaker. Uh, but I do have a Stomer version of that bottle, so I am happy about that. Uh, yeah, so good haul today. Obviously a beautiful day here. Uh, obviously a beautiful evening here in Halifax. And I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. And I'm almost at my goal of 4,000 watch hours. So maybe this one will push it over the edge. We'll see. I hope you guys have a good day or night wherever you are in the world. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.